What's going on everybody? My name is Symbiator here with uh, my first video on YouTube, a Flight Simulator X Acceleration, right here you can see it up top, really cool looking. Uh, this is going to be my first video on YouTube as I said, and it's gonna, uh, I'm going to make a series of a flight training series, learn to fly in Flight Simulator. And hopefully, when I'm starting to take my lessons, because I'm going to be a pilot, I just know that. I'm planning on taking lessons soon, they said I can already. So, hopefully someday I can do a video of a real airplane, like me doing the checklist or something. But that will be in a pretty long month, a lot of months, so we just click flight now. Okay, so we're in. Now we just. Sorry if my voice sounds weird. I don't think you guys can tell. But I'm kind of sick at the moment. So if you hear my voice weird, that's, that's why. So. Uh, awareness. The, today's subject is going to be the vital instruments of the aircraft. Without these, an airplane cannot be an airplane because they contain vital information for the pilots. So, we will discuss all of these, of course, obviously. We gotta discover, we're gonna do, explain all of these, of course. Switches and knobs, the radios, how to talk to ATC. Well, it's all easy, but I'm gonna start with the most basic. So, this is the airspeed indicator. Every number and big line represents 10 to 20 knots of difference. It's, in aviation, it's measured in knots, not in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. For an example, you see here it's 40, and let me zoom in. And that line in between means 5 more knots, so 40 plus 5, 45, 50, 55. 60, 65, 70, 75, and so on. Do not make the airplane exceed to the yellow. Don't make the needle go to the yellow because if not, you're going to crash. The wings will break off. Uh, moving on, but, uh, do not let the line go out of the green thing, like in the black right here. Because if not, that's indicating a stall. I will explain stalls and more of that cool stuff in a future video. This is the attitude indicator. Indicates how the airplane is climbing, descending, or turning. How steeply and stuff. The pitch. You know the pitch? Let me start the airplane so you guys can see. Hold on, let me know what my volume so. It is normal for the attitude indicator to be a little uncoordinated when the airplane is off. That is completely normal. Completely normal. It will set itself up again. So the orange dot represents the nose of the airplane. The two orange lines represent the wings. Blue represents the sky. Brown represents the ground. So moving on, these lines right here. These indicate 5 to 10 degrees of different pitch degrees. For an example, the first line means 5 degrees, second is 10, third is 15, and last is 20 degrees. In this particular airplane only, you might want to climb in between 15 degrees and 10 degrees, which will be about 13-ish, maybe. So, and these lines are indicating 
the degrees of steepness of the bank you know how steeply in how steeply the airplane is banking in form of degrees for example we're at zero degrees of bank which is just level the wings are level these are 10 degrees the first line 20 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees in between this line right here 45 is in between and 60 is in in this one right here <coughs> so uh, for beginners I recommend that you put this orange arrow facing towards 20 degrees of bank because it's just easier to maintain the airplane at the same altitude you want it in now it's buddy the altitude indicator It indicates the altitude. It's not called the altimeter, though. Many people think it's called the altimeter. It's not called the altimeter, by the way. I'm teaching you the correct thing. It's not called the altimeter. It's called attitude indicator. Altimeter is this. Do you see those decimals right about here moving? That's the altimeter. What that does is that uh, it calibrates. It calibrates the the instrument. For example, in the ATIS, which I will discuss in another video on radio communications, the control says altimeter, let's say we're here, altimeter 2992. 2992. See it? Right there. 2992 in HG, which means heading. And that calibrates it. The big line, it's like this is like a clock, but indicates how high you are. So if the big line is in a number, one of these numbers, that mean, that indicates 100 feet. For an example, the big line is moving because we're climbing 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet, 400, 500. And if we go back to zero, then the 1,000 feet begins. Like 1,100, 1,200, 300, 400, blah, 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 and so on. Moving on to the VSI. VSI means vertical speed indicator. It says a right rear vertical speed. If the oh I forgot to say one thing. If the big hand is moving clockwise, that means the airplane is climbing. If it's moving counterclockwise backwards, that means it's descending, losing altitude. Uh so yeah, as I was saying, vertical speed indicator, it's divided in five hundredths, see? If the arrow is above the zero, if the needle is above the zero, that means the airplane is climbing. This instrument, what it shows you is how f how steeply you're climbing. And it's divided in 500s, as I said. For an example, it's above the zero, well, 500, di uh, one 500 feet per minute, 10,000 feet per minute, 1,500 feet per minute, and 2,100, sorry, 2,000 feet per minute. In this particular airplane, you want to climb between 500 and 1,000 uh, uh, feet per minute, which is in between. The magnetic compass is the same thing as this, but if this fails in an emergency, this will not continue failing. This will not fail because it works magnetically. I have a runny nose, that's why. But I feel like recording, so I said, why not record? So th this is why I'm bringing this video to you guys. Hope you're enjoying so far and find this information useful. So yeah, heading indicator, let's say, oh man, there's this airport, it's to the east, but where is the east to? Well, it's this guy right here, this instrument. This indicates the airplane. This arrow means where the airplane is facing. The heading bug, for example, you know it's to the east. So you set it to the east, an example. This is just an example, by the way. And, uh, and let's say that the runway, you don't know which runway it is, but the numbers of the runway are a heading. For example, it says one if they say taxi to runway one two one two guess what it means it means heading one two which you can find it in the heading right here 
See one two. That means one two zero. Heading one two zero.